Hi, I'm Aaron from Falls Vacuum. All right, today we're going to replace a pump on a rug doctor that's not spraying. We have our pump kit. Pump kit includes our pump, some fitting pieces, and it also includes instructions. All right, step one is to ensure the machine's power plug is disconnected from the wall outlet. Common sense. Failure to disconnect power could result in an electrical shock hazard. So we are not plugged in. We remove the white recovery bucket. Now that's step two. Remove the filler basket. Step four is to pull several inches of suction line up into the area behind the quick coupler to reduce tension on the suction hose. So here's the quick coupler in the back. This is what I would call the suction hose. Guess they're talking about this. So on to step five. Place the machine on its side. Step six, with a pair of side cutter or pinchers, pry the hub off one of the wheels. Remove the wheel. Uh, what I found for me is the easiest thing to do is just to crush it with a pair of vice grips. Or you can use a regular set of pliers. But you're just removing this hub cap. So now we're going to remove the wheel. And then we're going to take out the axle. Next we are to lay the machine on its back, handle side down. And then uh, step eight, remove all six or eight screws holding the bottom pan in place. And I'm Uh, the next step says to balance the machine upright on its front and remove the vent panel screws. These screws are a different length, so we're going to keep those separate. Now we're right there. The whole Instructions say lay the machine back on its uh, on its back, supporting it at the main support with a two by four block or other item approximately the same size. Uh, remove the remaining wheel and axle assembly. We've already done that, and lower the bottom plant pan. Um, I actually find it's better to work on it when it's on its side. I didn't miss a screw. And now you're into the pump area. All right, coming up is the most difficult part, and that is well, of course, it says first note the direction of the flow. You want to come around here and show the top of the pump. It shows you the direction of the flow. There we go. Um, the pump goes in that direction. So when you put this back together, you do not want to wire it backwards. After noting the direction of the flow, now we have to cut off these clamps. Which is easier said than done. They're not easy. They show to use a, uh, a cutter. We have cutters like this. Um, we have cutters like this, right here. It's supposed to be able to just cut them. I've never been able to just cut them. Um, what I found for me 
is an acceptable, reasonably easy way to do this. Is that, uh, these fittings have a seam on the bottom, so I try to spin the fitting so that I can get into that seam. Try this, get it started, and then it just pops straight open. the entire machine over because again it's just this one is going to be more difficult because it needs to be turned more I'm just using a thin screwdriver. Once I got this one started, I'm going to get a bigger screwdriver. All right, so next we have to remove the pump. This looks like it's a kind of a jumbled mess. They don't include a zip tie, so if you want to put this away neat and nice, you're going to need to buy another zip tie. All right, this is actually an old style pump. Uh, this pump includes a inline diode. Uh, the pump only uses one half of the AC sine wave. The diode blocks that. Without the diode the pump will just be locked up. Um, then you have the other white wire. Our new pump is not going to use this diode. We're going to remove our lines, and again, uh, you, you need to respect the flow. Um, if you forget your flow, you can always just look where the hose is going. This, the, the water comes in from the tank. It goes out to the female quick disconnect on the back. Um, I don't understand what they were talking about with the suction hose or solution hose. Um, don't get it. If uh, you just can't get this solution hose off of here, um, you could always have the option to heat it with a hair dryer. It does make it easier. That's our old pump.
Here's our new pump. Uh, it's different from the uh, old pump because now that is the diode. You have a thick and a thin wire. And then they include a fuse. Which, uh, considering this machine already has circuit breakers, I, ex I suspect that perhaps this is just to give people something to put back in. We rustled open our plastic bag and you see we now have two hose clamps, a hubcap, and a fuse, not a diode. <clears throat> So remember our flow of the pump. There is a little arrow. So the flow comes out there, comes in here. Now if you remember from our pump, this was the in and this is the wire going up and around and out to the quick disconnect. So this is the out. So we'll go ahead and we'll fit our pump in the rubber. And this pump is wider than the old pump. And I've had customers tell me that it's not, doesn't work, but it works. There's not a lot of room in here, extra, but it, it definitely fits in. Um, flow, double checking the flow. Flow is going out. This is our in. Uh, we will go ahead and connect our fittings and you want to make sure before you clamp these fittings that you're you're happy with what it's how it's hooked up because now we have our hose connected, this is a quick dry fit, everything's in place, we've double checked our flow, clamps, you can use side cutters, um, I happen to have these cutter things, and I originally purchased them to cut these, but it never worked out, so they do do a good job at clamping these clamps. Um, you're also welcome to go buy good screw clamps at the hardware store if you end up needing. Alright, now we need to hook up. Let's try black diffuse. Used to black, then we'll come out of the diode and go to white. So, next, uh, let's test and see if our pump runs. Before we clamp our wires, plug in the machine. I'm going to get a towel or something and I'm going to cover the spray nozzles and I'm going to flick the machine on to the tools setting, not the carpet. When I turn it on to the tool setting, the pump will just run all the time. The pump is good. I can hear it clicking. I can feel it with my finger. Um, sounds like it is energized. Uh, I do not know whether it is spraying or not, but we'll test that in a minute. So that almost looks like I didn't mess with it. So there really is no good way to test the spray without actually putting the machine together. So um, we're going to trust that this pump pumps. Um, I'm going to 
could go ahead and put all the screws on. You could go ahead and fill the tank, test it, and then attach the screws, but uh, I have confidence in Rug Doctor products that we'll get this together and it will work. So remember, we had long and short screws. Uh, this is a Rug Doctor Mighty Pro X3 again. So uh, the three screws in the back are shorter. And if you screw up and put in the wrong size screw, you can poke a hole in the housing causing a water leak in the tank. I know because I've done it. And don't necessarily worry about tightening all the screws. Just get them started. Right now we'll put in the three short screws. Uh, make sure that this uh, fitting is in position that could fall out of place. We'll reattach our suction hose in the back. We'll install our basket. We'll reinstall our axle and wheel. We will not clamp the hubcap because if, if you need to take this back apart. So as you can see though, a solution line was in the way. So next time I'll remember to check it before I put on the three back screws. All right, now we're gonna test our rug doctor and if you notice I'm using a separate bucket. Uh, if you were using your dirty water tank to fill the machine, that could be a reason why your pump is bad. A lot of times we find a lot of debris in the pumps from people filling it with dirty water. Machine's plugged in. Again, we're going to flick the machine onto the tool setting and let's see if we get water to come out. Yep, get our water and then I'm going to test the carpet setting. So the last step, now that we've tested our machine, we want to put the hubcap on. So I use a nut driver and a hammer. Nut driver and a hammer. I'm going to make sure it's solid and that's it. I'm Aaron from Falls Vacuum. Thanks for watching.